we have to worry a lot more about security when you talk about smart grid because the uh, communications are no longer confined to a, a boundary of a utilities controlled network anymore. Now you're going out and touching assets that are uh, all over the place throughout the, uh, the entire footprint of your territory. Well, a successful smart grid would contain millions of connected endpoints and millions of intelligent devices. Um, in order for that to happen, you need to have some really smart devices, called, which we refer to as super devices. These devices will be out exposed, uh, a lot of them, to a lot of new threats. Um, they're, they're really enemies from all around um, uh, that you need to worry about getting into this data and manipulating it. The wrong people could be uh, foreign uh, nations that mean to do us harm, it could be terrorist organizations, um, even script kiddies and hacktivists that are trying to uh, get a point across, some uh, political point, um, or just see if they can play with the, the grid. There's a huge difference between uh, just the run-of-the-mill PKI that's out there in the, in the wilds and, and a PKI CA or Certificate Authority that has gone through all the rigorous standards such as the uh, NASB and WEC 12 standards, um, such as Web Trust uh, and the other various standards, NERC SIP compliance and things like that. Well, there's a level of trust you need to have in the Certificate Authority you're using as well. You need to be using a quality CA. Setting up a CA in you know, your neighbor's basement and using certificates as assigned by it is not uh, a valid way to do things. You need to have uh, a trust level in the CA that's issuing the credentials that you're trusting. The idea behind PKI being deployed uh, correctly is that your private keys are generated by you and no one ever sees them but you. Um, a lot of times uh, device manufacturers will generate private keys on the server end and uh, will transmit the private keys to a manufacturer to be installed in the device and that just violates the whole concept behind PKI. You don't know who those credentials have gotten to, uh, what the manufacturer has done with them. So we try to, um, uh, you, you need to have manufacturer validity and you need to make sure that the device itself generates its own credentials in the field at the point of installation, not handed to some manufacturer abroad that puts it in at the time of manufacturing. So we have developed the grid port so you can deploy it out in the field and it can talk to a wide variety of devices over a wide variety of protocols. But the connection from that grid port over the long haul network, whatever it may be, the public internet, cellular, um, a utilities uh, private network that they have, uh, working with all the houses, even an AMI network, whatever is available to provide IP connectivity, that connection from the grid port back to the head end is secured. We're not developing just another widget, you know, we're pushing the limits, we're pushing the boundaries of what we can do with these devices and what we can do with the technology.